So after originally having the pedal working a few days ago, uh, we had to change a few parts because they were broken. And now the pedal has basically just become one really, really large kill switch. As you can hear, there is some form of signal going. This could be a grounding issue. But overall, it looks like the pedal has been a failure. But this could be just down to small things like the quality of the soldering. I could admit that's not fairly great. But the board is fully working. So it seems to be that the issue is going from somewhere between the output on the board or the input into the board, one of the connections and the connections on the back of the actual switch which you can hear is reducing the volume ever so slightly when it's pressed. But the dials are turned up quite a bit. I'll just turn them up fully. And you can slightly you can hear the connection. Now overall the project has been a wasted endeavour. I think mainly due to lack of research and lack of practice, although the line boost pedal which was built before this in practice did work perfectly fine no issues on either end so now if I unplug this you can actually hear that the amp is going by itself I have tried every possible layout I'll just show you it with the leads switched over and reversed. As you can hear, there is a sound there, but now we have no sound. Sound, sound is very faint in signal. So we will just quickly run a guitar into the amp. Here there is nothing. But there is signs of signal. I believe it could be a quality control issue on the switches more than anything. And in future projects, uh, that will be looked at as if it is a quality control issue with certain components. It does make the possibility of making a budgeted boutique pedal 
a bit null and void because you're losing quality through the parts that you are using. Overall, the project was really good to do because you have to learn a lot about electronics. But at the end game, it would not be viable to try mass produce these for sale. The actual physical product was built. But the quality of the parts, I believe, is a letdown. Okay, so second set of uh, amendments to the pedal, um, as you can hear it now. And then with the right angling, we can also get. slightly distorted signal uh, doesn't work out as a full boutique pedal or full distortion pedal but it does work quite nicely as a little overdrive pedal um, as you can hear is the slightly overdriven sound. Uh, it was originally meant to be a metal distortion pedal but it's turned out to be like a bluesy distortion pedal. Uh, so, in a way, the goal has been achieved, but what we were originally after was a really super fuzzy gain pedal. Um, I'm going to bring another one up shortly, just for reference. Okay, so this is the final video. Um, also, I managed to get the LED working. You can just see that there. It's not very bright, unfortunately. Uh, the issue was a wiring issue on the foot switch. That was causing the main issue, realistically. Uh, the, for the three point, not the nine pin uh, foot switch that I've been dealing with, which looks like this. Uh, there's actually two ways to wire these up. Me not really noticing, knowing there was a second way, it went for the more complicated version and um, it, it caused a lot, of, a lot of trouble for the pedal in general. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a quick video with the pedal that I have created myself against one that I originally wanted to model it against um, you can tell the clear difference but in both sound quality and the form of distortions and overdrives so first I'll show you the custom made one that I have created
going with the pedal off. Back on again. Just take a few things out. And then the uh, the pedal that I wanted to try it against, and you'll be able to hear how hot the signal is on this. And this is a Joy Your Boogie Master. Now with the two combined, you can hear more static coming in now. Without the joyo. And without the custom one. So you can hear you can hear the, the pedal that I've created, it, it adds gain to the signal uh, but doesn't do it in massive amounts. And without it. So you can hear the, the colour difference, uh, we'll, we'll try it on the neck pickup, see if it does all. Out. So you can actually hear the difference with there is just that little bit more grit to it. Uh, the EQ section isn't working as well as what originally hoped, but uh, the volume is. But the preferred original sound would have been something like this. I think next time when I do a pedal like this, I will spend more time on the actual, actually I'd spend more money on it next time than more time. So quality of components uh, would be completely, it'd give a completely different sound. So I'd rather put money into the quality of components. <laughs>